Hello everyone. So today we'll be talking about Project Sashakt very briefly. Uh, we have been uh, witnessing a lot of articles in the Hindu as well as Live Mint on a regular basis on Project Sashakt. So today we are going to have a look at uh, the provisions as well as additions that the project is expected to make to NPA resolution process in the country. I've already talked about all these provisions of Project Sashakt in my daily MCQ videos that I create on a regular basis. So I expect you and uh, I request you to go through them as well. But here we are talking about specifically Project Sashakt and its provisions. Let me tell you that an essay is also expected on these lines in the upcoming RBI examination. So you should be well prepared about Project Sashakt as well as IBBI. I have already given an essay to the enrolled students on the same thing. What exactly is the aim of this project? The purpose is the same to resolve bad loans or non-performing loans or non-performing assets or stressed assets. And how is it going to do it? It is going to do it through a five pronged strategy. We are going to discuss that with the, the non-performing loans, which are larger ones, that is more than 500 crore going to the asset management company or an alternative investment fund. We'll be talking about this in detail. The ultimate objective of the project is to create a vibrant market which includes online trading of these stressed assets. So it wants to create a trading market, trading market for both performing as well as non-performing assets or loans. So it wants to create an online trading market uh, just like you have trading market for the uh, shares, for the bonds, everything uh, that takes place on the capital market is traded and similarly it wants to create another trading market where the buying and selling of the performing as well as non-performing assets can take place. The purpose is to enhance three things credit capacity of the banks and financial institutions to enhance or improve the credit culture as well as the credit portfolio of public sector banks. See, These are the three things uh, which it wants to improve or enhance. Now some provisions regarding the project Sashakt which will help you understand what exactly is the primary purpose of this project and how is it going to carry out the implementation so that uh, non-performing assets or loans can be reduced in the economy. It is based on a committee which was uh, set up under Sunil Mehta who is the PNB chairman of Punjab National Bank who was the chairman of Punjab National Bank. Now, it is very ironical because PNB has been involved in such a big scam of more than 13,000 crores, which was 11,000 crores when it started. And the chairman of the same bank has been appointed as the chairman of a committee uh, to resolve the non-performing loans. Keeping that aside, what are the provisions? As I said, there is a five-pronged strategy for uh, resolving the non-performing assets. Number one are the assets or bad loans which are up to 50 crores. So it has divided stressed assets into different classifications. It has made different classifications and the objective is to consolidate all the stressed assets based on uh, the amount of bad loans. So for bad loans up to 50 crore, what is the provision? It is to be managed at the bank level with a deadline of 90 days. Now one interesting thing is and this, this is the criticism related to Project Sashak is that it is not in sync with IBBI Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India or Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code because IBC says and RBI says 90 days. Another Project Sashak is also saying 90 days. So a total of 180 days now uh, uh, a non-performing loan is getting before it is provided before it is uh, sent for resolution. So instead of 90 days now, the organization or the non-performing asset holder gets 180 days, which means more delay, which is not in line with what the primary aim or the primary idea of insolvency and bankruptcy code was. The primary idea was to resolve these non-performing lo loans as fast as possible. Okay. The second one is bad loans up to uh, between 550 to 500 crore. They are to be managed by an inter-creditor arrangement or agreement between banks. So 50 to 500 crore, there are going to be uh, some banks, whether public sector or private sector involved in those loans. Not One bank is not going to provide that much loan to one company, to one organization. 
so an inter creditor agreement will be uh, created will be organized and a lead bank will be set up a lead bank will be decided which will implement a resolution plan in 180 days so the lead bank will be uh, decided in a coordinated manner and that lead bank will implement the resolution plan within 180 days now again this 180 days is in addition to 180 days provided by uh, provided in the insolvency and bankruptcy code so another delay here the third is bad loans above 500 crore what will happen this is interesting an independent asset management company is recommended supported by institutional funding through alternative investment fund so what happens is this is the bank this is the asset reconstruction company the bank has a non performing loan of let's say 600 crore the asset reconstruction company says i am going to buy it for let's say 200 crore from you if you are interested let me know the bank says okay you take it for 200 crore give me 200 crore arc says i don't have 200 crore right now i am going to issue you securities for 100 crore and i will pay you 100 crore as cash the bank says okay now the project sashak says this that this 100 crore which has been issued in the form of security by arc to the bank has to be released or has to be cashed out within 60 days so within 60 days the arc has to provide or uh, convert the security into cash that is what it's saying how will it generate this cash within 60 days the arc will ask for money from asset management company this asset management company is going to get money from alternative investment funds these alternative investment funds are investment houses which are going to invest in amc and the asset management company is going to tell the give this money 100 crore to arc arc will give it to the bank the control after this exchange of transaction exchange of money the control of management and operation of that of that particular asset for 600 crore let's say you are taking or overtaking a factory the control of this factory the control of the management of this factory or of this plant or of this organization will go to the asset management company and alternative investment fund houses together so these two together are going to manage this property manage whatever uh, asset they have acquired so that's it that is what is written here amc has to redeem the security issued to banks within 60 days asset management company through arc the asset trading platform that is what i have uh, explained here let's understand what i have explained before banks will set up an amc with the multiple sector specific aifs these funds will invest in the stressed assets which have already been bought by existing asset reconstruction companies the arcs will use the funds to redeem as i said within 60 days security receipts issued to banks against the bad loans and after the purchase the amc will be responsible for operational turnaround of the asset i hope it is very clear now who will own the stressed asset the arc after buying the asset from the lenders will transfer the ownership to aif and amc combined and the new owner amc aif will hold a stake of at least 76% so that was a very crude example which i had given wherein i said this 100 crore will be paid by amc now this 100 crore has to be at least 76% so this amc aif conglomerate has to hold at least 76% ownership in this entire project in this entire organization which has been taken up taken over or the asset which has been taken over that is another provision or another stipulation that has been provided here i hope it is very clear uh this is project sashak the idea is to uh, control and regulate and resolve as fast as possible the bigger non performing loans but the problem is that it is creating again a multiple structure wherein ibbi is working on different lines and project sashak is working on separate lines if you like this lecture please subscribe to my channel now you can also provide me feedback in the comment section below and i will be happy to answer your queries you can also ask me questions on kora I have more than 200 answers and I will be writing more answers based on your queries. I'll be more than happy to address your queries there. You can also download my Android mobile app which is called as Infinity. You can search for it by typing my name on uh, your uh, Google Play Stores and uh, on this uh, Inf Infinity app you, you will get uh, the entire repository of all the phase 1 and phase 2 free content which is available that will help you in the upcoming examination.